Ozark Mountains tonight. Here's a 10-gallon copper of top guitarist, Pearl Travis! <laughs> Once again, from the heart of the Ozarks, it's Jubilee, USA. Brought to you by Massey Ferguson and your Massey Ferguson dealer. Massey Ferguson, base setter of modern farming. Makers of the world's most famous combine. And the only tractors with the Ferguson system. And now one of Red Foley's greatest friends for 30 years, America's all-time cowboy favorite, Gene Autry! Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and out of all my friends out there in TV land, too. I'm sort of happy to come back to Springfield, Missouri. You know, this is where my wife found me and I proposed to her. <laughs> no, really, I like Springfield. I've been here so many times that uh, it sort of seems like my home. I could go so far as to tell you that I was born here in Springfield, but actually I wasn't. I was born in Texas. But if I'm ever born again, I hope it's right here in Springfield. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'd like to start my portion of this show off tonight by doing a brand new song for you. I know that you've never heard it before. I'm not sure that I can sing it all the way through myself. I haven't had time to learn it. And if I forget it, I hope you'll forgive me. But I think it goes like this. I'm back in the saddle. I'm back in the saddle again, riding the reins once more, holding my old 44, where you sleep out every night, and the only law is right, back in the saddle again, Wookiee tie I owe, rocking to and fro. Back in the saddle again, Wookie tie, I, I go my way. Back in the saddle again. <laughs> ah, thank you, one and all, folks. Thank you a lot. You know, I haven't been back here to the Ozarks for about five years. So, I came in a couple of days early just to have a visit with my old friend, Red Foley, for a few hours. And he's now on his way out in my part of the country, and that's California, as far as some personal appearance. To all of you folks out there at the Lodi Grape Festival, be real good to old Red, because he's one of the finest guys, and believe me, he certainly deserves it. And now, by the way of making this Jubilee start tonight, right here are the square dancing young folks, the Wagon Wheelers. Let's have them. <laughs> Pull it back, all three of you jump the ass, run around the suit. Come into the middle box, please. Face the middle and lift the bed. 
So forward, forward, back and square. Heads roll back behind that pair. Double pass, we're across the square. Couple square left, balls on my leg. Don't get excited for pretty little maid. Just keep on going and listen. You heads roll back behind those two. Now, the man left the next row pair. Grand right and left, go around the square. Hang up a hand in the beach, tomato, all front along the front eight. When it keeps on going, don't slow down. One, two, three, you wheel around. Fast, lose where the soul is. Meet the next one, right and left through. Right and left back, you're doing fine. Same lady, same land. Just can't hold her and shake it back. Now turn them around, hold them, stand, stick the chain. Left down, the man walks right in, right and left rim. Well, I handle my hand to the meet your maid. Stick her with a hand and promenade right off the floor. So there is rain no more. <laughs> Thank you, young sis. Thank you. You know, if you're raised on the farm, your later years may take you far away from the old home place. But there's always a warm place in your heart that's reserved for the farm way of life. Of course, farming is a lot different today with modern machinery like the Massey Ferguson folks make. And here is Joe Slattery with the latest chapter in the story of finer equipment for more profitable farming. Say, friends, when you raise good corn like this, why leave some in the field for the crows? When you can get all of your grain up in the tank for profit. Well, now you can with this great new corn head from Massey Ferguson. The really new heavy-duty number 20 corn head. It's newly designed, newly engineered, and brother, the number 20 is rugged. Built like a battleship. And it fits all Massey Ferguson-made combines. And the best part of the 20 corn head is that it gets all the corn you grow with these long, low gathering snouts that sweep even down corn right up into the snapping rolls. And with these new field-tested snapping plates designed to prevent wasteful butt shelling. And what's more, for more use and profit, you can switch from this corn head to grain table. But friends, to find out all about this brand new 20 corn head, See your Massey Ferguson dealer real soon, okay? You know, I don't have any way of knowing how many folks all over the country are listening in here tonight. But I do have an idea of how many folks down in Kentucky, and of course in every city in the United States, and every town, that there are listening. And here is a fellow that I want you to meet because he has, without a doubt, been one of the finest writers and one of the greatest guitar players of all time. And here, ladies and gentlemen, a great artist, Mr. Sixteen Tons himself, Merle Travis, and I'll see you in my dreams. Merle. <laughs> Travis is just about one of the finest artists that I know of and one of the many folks who's going to be with us on our annual personal appearance tour that we open Monday in Knoxville, Tennessee at Fairway. 
And uh, I just uh, say, hey, what the fellow have to do around here to get some service? Boy, what you gonna have? Oh, hello there, Dad. Dad? Never mind that dad business. Don't, hey, don't get your hand in that roast powder there. <laughs> it's poison, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got him, boy. Now, uh, now what, what you gonna, what you gonna need? Well, I tell you, Dad, I'd like a ham sandwich with nothing on it, just plain. Plain? Ham. Plain. You want mustard on it, don't you? No. No mustard. You don't want no mustard? Look. No mustard. Look, but it ain't, it ain't gonna cost you, it ain't gonna cost you nothing. It ain't gonna cost you that blame thing. I just want a sandwich with nothing on it. You mean you don't like mustard? No. Do you ever eat any mustard? No. Well, how do you know you don't like it, then? Well, I know I don't like it. I just don't want it. Now, just look, 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 buddy. Just between me and you, uh, uh, look, my wife is a cook, and she's got a habit of putting mustard on everything. Uh, she's tried to kick the habit, but she's still back on it again. And look, just let her put a little dab on there, will you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. I just don't like mustard. You don't like mustard? No. You don't like mustard? No. That blamey, do you realize how much the that blame mustard company spends every year advertising mustard? Millions of dollars on television advertising that blame mustard, and you don't want no mustard. <laughs> no mustard. Yeah, no, all right. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but I'll tell you one thing, buddy. My wife's going to throw a fit, uh, but I'll see what I... Hey, Puddin, one ham sandwich, cut the mustard. <laughs> I, I told you how it'd be. Look, <laughs> may, may, maybe we can figure out something. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll I tell you what we can do to keep her in a good humor. Let's just let her put a baked tater on, on the plate. Just drop a tater by the, the, the sandwich. Okay. All right, if you want it that way. I'd rather have it plain. You'd rather have it plain? Well, yes. you don't have to eat the tater. It won't be skint. It'll okay. just be boiled. And... All right, I'll do anything. Just get the sandwich. Well, all right. Put I... a potato on the side. Uh, what kind of potato would you like to have? Idaho or a Utah potato? I don't care what kind. Well, make up make your... Make it Idaho potato. Make up your de... uh, Idaho potato. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with a Utah potato? <laughs> They're just as there's, good as the Idaho potatoes. There's nothing wrong with the Idaho potato or Long Island potato. Just put it on the side. Oh, you're going to double cross the Utah tater, huh? <laughs> All right. Bring, bring it here with a tater. Right. Right. I'm out of mustard, but I brought some mayonnaise. That'd be all right. Mayonnaise, yeah. That's, right. that's Miss Audrey. Four. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why did you... Do I didn't, I didn't know who he was. I forgot my glasses. I mean, uh, I didn't miss Archie. He ain't gonna eat no plain sandwich. Why, Joel? No. I have cooked some hominy grits for Mr. Burr's Travis, and I just gets you some of the hominy grits. Get his autograph while I'm gone. Get his autograph. I'll be right back. Yeah, she'll be right back, Miss Archie. Uh, excuse me for not recognizing you. Look. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't got nothing but just a blank check. Would you put your name right there on that bottom line? <laughs> That's why you're the richest man in Hollywood. Yeah. Smart, Eddie. All right. Anything now to get out of here, so how about picking up the seven? Yeah, okay. yeah, all right. It, let, 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 me, let me put this here stuff on here for you. Right, 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 right. I'll, I'll put it, just, just, just uh, I'll use all you want. We can show you that old. Oh, no, no, no. no. So there, Let me do it. I'll put it on myself. Well, put, be sure to get plenty on there now, because that's good stuff. Uh, that, 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 we, we want to please you, Mr. Archie. I didn't know you. I got it. But okay, how did it announce that? Wait, wait a minute. You can put a little tad right there if you want to. Over here? Yeah, yeah. Got it right in there. That, that, okay. That ought to get it. That looks good, don't it? Yeah. yeah. You like that? Yeah, man, I like that. Then you eat it. <laughs> He don't 
don't want no dad barn mustard. I know that. <laughs> You know, I certainly like what Gene said earlier this evening about a farm-raised man or woman always carrying a soft spot in his heart to the old home place. And tonight, there's an interesting scene taking place on one farm that I know of. Uh, would you like to have a look at it with me? Got some rain last night. That's good. No, that's bad. Had to plow this morning. Figured I might get stuck down in the hollow. Mmm, that's bad. No, that's good. Gave me a chance to use the differential lock on my new Massey Ferguson 65 diesel. Every time I get down there near where my old tractor used to get stuck, I'd kick in the differential lock. That MF 65 diesel had pulled through slick as a whistle. Never even spun a wheel. Hey, that's good. No, that's bad. Got through plowing so early, Sarah put me to work cleaning up my desk. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. Gave me a chance to check over the fuel and maintenance figures on that MF-65 diesel. That's good. <laughs> You're darn tootin' it's good. That Matthew Ferguson 65 diesel is the workin'est, savin'est tractor I ever owned. You ought to try one. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I sure hope that you liked that fine fun. <laughs> you know, folks, your Massey Ferguson dealer would like to have a visit with you this coming week. And he'll show you that mighty hard-working 65 diesel. And you and I have enjoyed some good types of music on the Jubilee over the past five and a half years. And I remember the night very well that Red Foley introduced a big name piano player who's nothing less than the best of his kind. He's been on the show a good many times since that time. And I'd appreciate your welcoming him back tonight. He's probably one of the daddies of ragtime, he am. Believe me, he's an authority on it because I've seen him work so many times. He had a great part in recording this fine album of ragtime, he am. Ladies and gentlemen, a real pleasure and an honor for me to introduce Thank you. 
these fine folks at the Jubilee that you just heard, folks. And kids, I want you to meet an old traveling buddy of mine that I've known for many, many years. Ruth Davis. Hi, how are you? Ruth made the trip out here from California with Mrs. Autry and myself, and evidently my flying kind of shook him up a bit because his nerves were on a little bit of it. <laughs> but because of he's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tonight, I know he's raring to go. Ruth Davis. Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore, to the green old throwing mountains to the wide bell by the Lord. She's mighty tall and handsome, but known quite well by all. Her regular combination, call the wall by the cannonball. Listen to the jingle, rumble, and the roar as she glides along the woodland to the hills and by the shore. And by the rush of engine, you hear the lonesome hobo swore. imitate is a Massey Ferguson 85 tractor. But I guess there just is no such thing as an imitation of the 85. It stands alone. And by alone, I mean way out in front of competition. This is big acreage farmland, rich and fertile. And this is the new taste center at big acreage tractor, the all new Massey Ferguson 85. Now for the first time, a 60 horse class tractor with the world famous Ferguson system you have precise fingertip control of fully mounted big capacity implements. See how easily the Ferguson system controls that 1,300 pounds of fully mounted plow as it cuts a three inch scratch furrow. Now for the first time in the 60 horse class, a nimble, clean lined beauty that puts its surging power to use back where the work is done. Five bottom plowing, deep down tough field tilling, or any big acreage job. And Massey Ferguson's got the big capacity tools you'll want to go with the 85. Yep, here's the workinest, savingest tractor in the 60 horse plant, the pace setter in big acreage farming, the Massey Ferguson 85. When evening chores are over at our ranch house on the plain, and all I've got to do is lay around. I saddle up my pony and I ride off down the trail to watch the desert sun go down. Riding down the canyon to watch the sun go down. Picture that no artist there could paint. White face cattle lowing on the mountain side. I hear a coyote whining for his mate. 
cactus plants are blooming. Sage brush everywhere. Granite fires are standing all around. I tell you folks, it's heaven to be riding down the trail. When the desert sun goes down. Thank you very, very much, folks. You know, this has been about the most enjoyable job that I've had in many a day. And I'm grateful to Red Foley for asking me to take over for him tonight. I'll be looking around here and looking forward to seeing you again in just a little while and next time in person throughout our tour, and especially at the big New Jersey State Fair. In the meantime, this is Gene Autry saying good night to you for Massey first. Starring Gene Autry, and next week, headed by Jimmy Wigley, has been presented by Massey Ferguson, state center of modern farming, and by the great nationwide family of Massey Ferguson dealers. Reserve Sunday afternoon for professional football thrills. Watch the American Football League in action starting tomorrow on the ABC Television Network.